You may learn. This is just a continuation we'll be doing 2.2. And in 2.2, we are told that a quadratic sequence with the general term Tn has the following properties. They gave us the 11th term. So T11 is equal to 190. However, they gave us a general term, not to find a single term. But this general term simply says that if you have a term and you minus its preceding term, the preceding term is the previous term, you can simply use that to find the difference between those two terms. So that will be the general term for finding a, the difference between two consecutive terms, which will be 4n minus 3, where n is greater than 2. So this only works, that general term only works if n is equal to or greater than 2, all right? Now, they want us to determine the first term of the quadratic sequence. One thing that they keep on repeating is that this is a quadratic sequence. You have been told that the sequence is quadratic. A quadratic sequence has a second common difference. All right, it has a second common difference. We are given only this value of a term, which is the 11th term. So that term is in the 11th position. And we are given this general term over here. So what I'm going to do, because I'm given the 11th term, I am going to substitute 11 wherever there's n into that general term for finding the difference between two consecutive terms. And this is what I will get. So wherever there is n, I substituted 11. Wherever there's n, I substituted 11. I do have the 11th term, though, which is 190. So where there is t11, I will substitute 190. And this will give us the 10th term. So we'll have to determine what the 10th term is. And obviously, on the right-hand side, when you multiply 4 with 11, you will get 44. Now, transpose 190 to the right-hand side. When you transpose it to the right-hand side, that 190 will be negative 190. And 44 minus 3 will give you 41. So, negative T10 will be equal to 41 minus 190. And 190, which is negative, when you minus 41 and you take the sign of the bigger number, you will get negative 149. And then you just have to divide both sides by negative to get n or to get the tn, the t10 being equal to 149. Now, that is the 10th term that we've just calculated here. So for the 10th term, you will have 149. I'm going to repeat the same thing. I just need three terms that will enable me to find the second common difference. So I will repeat the same process using the same general term. But now where there is n, I will substitute 10. So you go to the general term wherever there's n, you substitute 10. I do have t10 again. So where there is t10, I will substitute this 149. And 4 times 10 will give us 40. Transpose 149 to the side. It will be negative 149. 40 minus 3 will give you 37. So negative T9 will be equal to 37 minus 149, which will give us negative 112. Then you divide both sides by negative to find your ninth term, which will be equal to 112. Once I have three terms, it's easy for me to find the second common difference. I will first find the first difference by taking 149 minus 112. And that will give me my first common difference, which will be equal to 37. And then you take 190, your minus 149, that will give you 41. To find the second common difference, you will take 41 minus 37, and that will give you the second common difference, which is equals to 4. The second common difference will always be equal to 2a. 
To solve for a here, you will divide both sides by 2. 4 divided by 2 will give you 2. Therefore, a will be equal to 2. I now have a. Where am I going to use this a? When I write down the general term of a quadratic sequence, I will have a n squared plus b n plus c. Now I've got a. I'm just missing b as well as c. However, I only have the ninth term, the eleventh term, as well as the the tenth term. So it's the ninth term, the tenth term, and the eleventh term. What I'm going to do, guys, is to use this general term to find those terms, all right? And when I use the general term to find those terms, just to revisit what we have done so far, we had 190, which is the 11th term. Then we calculate the 10th term. When we calculated the 10th term, we said the 10th term will be equal to 149. The ninth term was equals to 112. We found the first differences to the extent that we ended up finding the second difference, which was equals to 4. We equated that to 2a, and then we divided both sides by 2 to get the value of a. As I've said, the 10th term, if we were to use the general term to calculate it, we were going to have to use the general term that I just wrote in the previous slide, which was Tn is equals to An squared plus Bn plus C. To find the 11th term, I will simply substitute 11 wherever there's n. And to find the 10th term, I will substitute 10 wherever there's n. And this is what you will end up having, meaning that the 10th term will be equals to 100a plus b plus c. And I will do the same thing with the 11th term. To find the 11th term, wherever there's n, I will substitute 11. The 11th term will give me 121a plus 11b plus c. The difference between these two terms, you will take the 11th term, which is 121a, hundred and twenty one a plus eleven b plus c then you minus the tenth term which is hundred a plus ten b plus c you will get one twenty one a plus eleven b plus c minus hundred a minus 10b minus c. The c's will cross out. 121 minus 100 will give you 21a. And 11b minus 10b will give you just b. So this will be equal to the first difference. And we calculated the first difference between the 10th term and the 11th term as 41. So you will take this and equate it to 41. You do have a, a is equals to two. All you have to do is to calculate b. You will end up having 42 plus b is equals to 41. Then you'll end up having B being equals to 
41 minus 42. So B will be equal to negative 1. Now we are left with C. Just to revisit what I did. The difference between these two, the first difference between these two will give me 21A plus B, which will be equals to 41. To solve for B, where there's A, you will substitute what we calculated as A, which was 2. And 21 times 2 will give you 42 plus B. To solve for B, you transpose 42 to the right-hand side. So B will be equal to negative 1. Once you get B, you can simply use any TN. I can simply use this TN over here and just equate it to the value of that term. So I can say this is equals to T11. So what I'm going to do is that wherever there is A, I will substitute 2. Wherever there is B, I will substitute negative 1. And I will have to add C, which is equals to the 11th term was equals to 190. You will end up having 2 multiplied by 121, that will give us 400 and it's actually 242. And we'll have minus 11 plus C, which will be equals to 190. This 2 will give us 231 plus C, which is equals to 190. Therefore, you will have C being equal to 190 minus 231. And that will give you the value of C. Now that you have the general term, so you can say the general term, which is Tn, will be equal to 2n squared minus n. Minus 41. To find the first term, you just substitute one where there is n. And that will give you the first term, which will be equal to it gives me negative 40. So that's what you will have. So your first term here will be equal to negative 40. Let's check if everything is okay. As I've said, you can use any of these general terms to calculate the value of C. For this one here, I simply used T11. Wherever there's A, I substituted 2. Where there is B, I substituted negative 1. And the value of C will be equal to negative 41. Substitute that into the general term, which is that general term I showed you. And this is what you will end up having. To find the first term, all you have to do is to substitute 1 wherever there's N. And this is what you will end up getting. That's how you will go about calculating the first term. All righty, guys. The next one is this question here. Please check out the next video as we go through this. Remember that we have an exam workshop from the 1st to the 4th of May. Please check the description for more information. Khotsong.